Hello everyone, I am with Dr. Wendy Kreider and this is Zen's Tea House Health and Wellness Hour. Thank you, Dr. Wendy. Thank you. You help people with stress. Yes, I do. There are different types of stress. So we're talking about how some people, they carry stress in their body, their mind, in their gut. What are some ways that you use to help people who deal with stress? You're a holistic medical physician, you're a chiropractor. How do you help people with stress naturally? Well, the main thing that I do helping people with stress is I'm able to do the network spinal, which is my specialty, chiropractic care. And what that does is it helps um, relieve stress in the nervous system. And since your nervous system controls everything, to let go of some stress in your nervous system is a great part of healing and of being able to live your life better. Now, you said the nervous system. Is that just the back? Is that the head, the mind, your, you know, your fingers? No, I, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I have this picture that shows us the nervous system. And the thing about the spine is it houses the spinal cord, which comes from the brain and the brain stem and is actually uh, also part of your brain and goes all the way down your body. And it controls everything that happens in the human body. Everything? Everything. Dang. <laughs> it's like the central control center. <laughs> so I, we live in Los Angeles. There are some people who I think are very stressed. And the irony is that people in Los Angeles, they, they want to look healthy and they want to feel healthy, but they're not actually truly healthy. You know, they want to look stress-free. You know, but how, how does one know if they're stressed? Like, how does one know if they're even healthy? Well, that's that's a very good question. And um, so, is that a hard question? It is a hard question, but I'm gonna <laughs> do my best to answer. Like you can tell by touching a person's body and how rigid they are, whether they are under stress. So that is one big way. And a lot of people don't even realize how rigid and stiff they are unless all of a sudden they have an injury or all of a sudden um, they have a medical condition that pops up. They might not know how stressed they are, but actually like 80% of all diseases is related to stress. So a lot of times the medical is what will clue us in or the pain. Yeah, that hurts to think about actually. Right, or the pain, right? Pain is basically telling us something is going wrong, we need to address it. That is what pain's job is and message. <laughs> Dr. Wendy Cryer, how do we know we're in pain? Well, most people experience pain on a physical level. You know, they come to me and they say, well, I'm having headaches every day or my upper back feels really stressed or my low back. Like when I get out of bed, I feel like I can't stand up straight. So that's one way to indicate pain, but there's also emotional, mental pain. And um, there's stress that also comes from the chemicals that are in our environment that we ingest every day. That is very true. I have people who come in quite often here at this cafe ask, what do you have to help, help with pain? And like the natural thing is that, oh, I heard golden milk or turmeric is great, but that can only do so much if they're taking chemicals in or if, you know, what right. kind of, how do people know that they're consuming chemicals? Um, I think you would just assume that we're all consuming some kind of chemicals because of what's in our food mm -hmm. and the air that we breathe that has toxins in it. Um, the products that we use on our body, unfortunately, also have a lot of um, toxins in our society. So the thing is like what you can do to get rid of it and then what you can do um, to booster yourself. And like I, going back to the nervous system, yourself, your nervous system, your whole um, being to be able to fight that off and be the best you can be. Mm. The people who are watching right now, can you comment below some of the toxins that people consume? Because we're here in Los Angeles and we have one of the worst pollution in the world. Yes. So we're in, in consuming, breathing in this, this, these toxins in our air, our water, uh, but there's also foods. Can you comment below any foods that you know have toxins? Zen Tea House 
organic, wild crafted. That's one of the things that I'm really grateful to be able to do. Yeah. And you can, people ask me, you know, how do you know if it's organic? Well, I, I can tell because I've been eating so much and your body's clear of those toxins. You can feel the difference. You can taste the difference. Right. You can actually feel on people's like skin and in their tissue. Really? How much toxins they have. Yeah. So it's part of what I've been trained to do as a network spinal chiropractor to be able to feel like what is in the skin? Is there something chemical going on as well as um, emotional, mental and physical? Mm. So when someone's mentally off, does it show off in their skin sometimes? Well, usually the big thing with emotional and mental stress is the muscle tension. Mm -hmm. The muscle tension in your body will show you that. And also the uh, mental stress, how rigid your spinal cord actually is. Because we, de we um, defend ourselves with, by being tight and rigid. <laughs> wow. This, well, sometimes I'll feel really sick. And I'm not sick. I just I physically feel sick. What could that be? Well, it's probably, again, like a message, like pain is a message to you to stop and look and see what's going on. Um, you might be overexhausted, or you could be something you ate that did not agree with you. Or Pretty lack much, of food. Or lack of food. <laughs> if yeah. you tend to not take care of yourself and eat regular meals. Um, I mean, pretty much every processed food is going to have toxins in, it, in our country. Sometimes when I'm stressed out, I forget to eat and I just drink tea. I'll drink like seven <laughs> to eight cups of tea a I day on average. I do. I drink lots of tea and I'm drinking a peach oolong skinny tea right now. And it's just because I like the taste of the tea, but there's been times where I drink too much of this and like I lose weight because I'm not eating. I'm just drinking this. Um, that is, that is hard because that's like a lifestyle. Right. So the interesting part about um, chiropractic care and the network spinal care is they've done studies on it. And what they find is that when people are getting their care, they pay more attention to their physical body, whether they're eating, um, to their health habits, whether they're working out, whether they're taking care of their spiritual needs. It's, it's all been documented in study that was done in the 90s at the University of California, Irvine. Really? That shows that people actually pay more attention to this stuff after receiving the care. Their mind, their body, their soul, like the chiropractor. Hmm. Their, their general health habits, their general um, way they think about the world, whether they feel stressed and whether they are conscious of taking care of themselves or not. I'm thinking of like mindfulness, you know, because you're just, you're conscious of your health when you have a doctor who has their hands on your body. That's what I'm thinking. So many doctors don't spend much time with us. They just in and out. Right. You're not that type of doctor. No, I, I'm definitely not that type of doctor. I'm very low tech <laughs> in a high tech world, but I, you know, really believe and I, purposely spent a lot of time training myself for how to feel these different things we're talking about in a person just by gently touching their back. Could you, you touch know? like a person's hand and know if they're stressed out or not? Or? Probably if I concentrated on it, yes. Oh. But it's more like I'll feel ah. your spine and what's going on, mm. muscle tension. Feel that monkey on my back? A lot if you pay attention. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Definitely not in your neck. Uh, well, I have a baby. She's one years old. <laughs> and I have a three year old and a 16 year old and a 20 year old. So, and a wife, too. That really goes. Lots. Well, right, I got this business, Suzanne's Tea House. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get in touch with Dr. Wendy Kreider, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, well, they can call me at 562-943-2431, or they could go to my website, which is drwendykreider.com. You do over the phone asking questions about health and wellness? Yes, and also um, people can contact me directly through my website for awesome. appointments. If you want the website, click the link below. You call the number below. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment about the health questions you would like Zen's Tea House to cover.